What I love about interdimensional energy field science is how we can test the principles in our own life by exploring the magnificence of the human design. I remember when I was so young and began to just change the way I was breathing, discovering hundreds of different breath techniques that allow me to alter my consciousness and we can all breathe. Just this ability to slow the breath right down and to be very conscious about what we are choosing to breathe because energy becomes that which we label it as we know. Just through a slow, deep breath, we can just vibrate ourselves into the rhythms of the purest peace. Another thing that I really love is Sufi spinning. Our pituitary and pineal glands have amazing capability. It's like they form a bridge between the left and right brain hemispheres and they can pulse out this frequency of what the Indians call divine Amrita and what the um, others call DMT. They're different frequencies. DMT opens us to higher visionary capacity, really stimulates our third eye, allows us to perceive things differently, to tune to different zones. And this pulsation that the yogis have worked with in India for thousands and thousands of years of Amrita, ah, oh, not only has it got the most beautiful taste, but it too, alters the brainwave patterns when stimulated and so again we can hear, see, sense in a different way. That's how we are designed so everybody is naturally clairvoyant, clairaudient, clairsentient. With Sufi dancing, and I cannot recommend this practice enough, uh, this is something that I've done for years and years and years. And you can spin and spin and spin to the degree where you go into such ecstatic states and you can hear so much more. And for me, many years ago, when I was just playing Sufi dancing, enjoying this, feeling as if I was standing still in the middle of the universe while everything was spinning around me, I began to download here to receive, to hear the most amazing flow of words that were very, very poetic. And after a few nights of this constant stream, I thought, okay, it's coming to me for a reason. What am I meant to do with this? And I had this intuitive understanding to record it. And so night after night after night, going into this deep state of meditation and then starting the Sufi spinning. And as you know, you are receiving energy. Your focus in Sufi spinning is really just to be a, a cosmic transmission station for pure love and the, the purest wisdom to, to come to you and then flow out from you into the world. And because that's the, that's the intention, what we receive is can be quite amazing. So I began to record all this information, these poems, and I realized at the end, when it all stopped, because one day it just stopped, it was like, okay, what am I meant to do with this? And I, again, I had a very clear, it was like I was in a wave of energy, of clarity and gentleness, but wisdom and lightness and, a humor almost and I'd realized that I tapped in through the spinning I'd gone into a into the, the realm of the pure angelic energy and the angelics um, basically said you're going to do a book called the pathways of peace 
And you'll see when you go through all this, there's 12 specific paths and then very clear exercises at the end of each path of peace. And I thought, wow, I've written many, many books, but never like this before. Why poetry? And we all know in interdimensional energy field science that when enough people believe something to be true, then it comes into existence in a parallel world, which then can flood into this world when the hearts and minds are really open. So those that are open to this reality of angelic frequencies, then we can be bridges into that zone, that vibrational pulsation. And we all know also that it is said, many know, <laughs> that the realm, all the music, music comes from the angelic realm. It's a gift from the angelics for earth. We know that art, poetry, all this creative energy comes from that zone of pure creativity. In fact, in the previous um, times, people like the Medicis who funded all our beautiful artists, they believe that the creative people are blessed by the angels. So here was I, spinning, 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 for night after night in my meditation room, just in ecstasy, the absolute ecstasy and the trance that comes, the deep trance from the spinning because you're harmonizing your left and right brain frequency hemispheres as well. So now being flooded with this intuitive flow, this massive creativity that became the 12 pathways of peace with their exercises. And so I, I tuned to this when it all came through and said, why poetry? And it's like the answer was because poetry like abstract art is absolutely subjective. In other words, the reader, the listener will hear very personal messages that are just for them. I remember many years ago when my father had had a stroke and he couldn't paint anymore with his right hand. I come from a family of, of artistic people and because he couldn't paint anymore with his right hand, he went to his left hand and what he started to bring through was better than he'd ever, ever painted before in the previous 60 years of his art and his painting. And everybody was going, oh, I love that watercolour. Wow, that's a bridge, that's a mountain, that's a boat, that's a, a foggy forest. Everyone saw something different because it was abstract art and it was beautiful. And he'd said to me, what am I meant to be doing now if I can't paint with my right hand? Why? And I said to him, well, why don't you just tune back into the angelic realms, because he believed in the angelics, and just ask them to channel through you the most perfect flows of creativity. Just relax, stop blocking, thinking you can't do something, and just open to the flow and see what comes. And as we just shared, he did things, everyone was like, awe awed by, inspired by, like, wow, <laughs> that was incredible to see, but they all saw something different. And as we've been running the 12 pathways of peace through the Embassy of Peace with our ambassadors all around the world, everybody keeps saying, wow, the energy is so different. And everybody, as they read each poem, gets such different messages that are so personal for their life. And yes, it is a, a, a part, it is a program that is coming from a very different matrix because the energy of the angelics is very different to the energy of the Ascended Master Matrix through which the Luscious Lifestyle Program came. So we just wanted to share in this little video a bit about the birth of our 12 Pathways of Peace and also to just invite you to dance, Sufi dance, play with Sufi dancing and see what happens. It is so good for getting rid of jet lag 
I have found <laughs> just a few minutes when I get off a plane, I spin, 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 and there is no such thing as jet lag for me anymore. Having traveled for so long all around the world, that's a great technique. But not only that, to just take the time in the spinning to just really ask to just tune into the most beautiful realms of creativity and nourishing energy so that as you spin and as you walk through this world, as you move through this world, you are transmissioning the perfect frequency spectrum that is beneficial for all around you at this phase in human evolution. And also that you are in a, in a reality of mutually beneficial relationship because in all these higher matrices, it is a mutually beneficial flow to give, to receive, to give, to receive because it really is a divine dance. That's what I find. So thank you all again for taking the time to listen. This is Jess Maheen for the Embassy of Peace sharing, I hope, some more inspirational stories.